Hi, welcome to Sailing and Electronics, where we also talk about 18650 cells. Today we're going to open another e-bike battery. Um, it's going to be the Gazelle Energy. It's a battery which uh, I have already opened uh, quite some times. Um, and the cells inside are most of the time good quality cells. They're not the highest capacity, but uh, it will work for a do-it-yourself power wall. This Gazelle uh, Energetic we are going to take apart, so you can see how to take out the cells. For this we will need, I think, um, a Torx 10 for loosening the four screws over here. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. On the other side, we have one little Phillips screw to remove the light. This is the light. It does not have um, a cable. It's just a plug which goes inside uh, with the electronic uh, connectors. And here, again, we have one, two, three, four um, screws. Again, the torque type. We can undo. That's two. Three. And four. So, now we can take this off also. Here we have a quick release again. We don't need this anymore. And here we can see that there's a rubber gasket. When we take it off we can see that the first signs of electronic components are there. On the other side we can also take off this rubber gasket. Uh, the flat screwdriver will help. There is, of course, this fella, this one, is holding it down. So when we make it loose. Again, everything comes off. So, the connector for charging. Here we have uh, the fuse. It's here, it's a 30 amp fuse. So, now I'm gonna take some paper and then uh, we're gonna start cutting the wires. It's the first time that I have seen this uh, lubricated like this. Uh, probably an extra measure um, to prevent it from uh, um, getting water into the box. So 
what can we expect now from previous uh, batteries, gazelle batteries the cells were packed in holders like this and they are stacked one, two, three, four times yeah. so the trick now is to get uh, the first seal um, cut through with a knife on the other side also and then you can use or a piece of wood which you will lay on this part and then with the, um, the wooden handle of a hammer you can start tapping it down until the first one comes even to this side yeah. if you have this then you have to take the battery in your hands and start tapping again so they will come out and once you have uh, let's say one uh, unit out the rest will be easy to, to push out but this is something I have to do in my shed so um, I will show you the results when I have taken them out but I can start cutting the wires so this one I will not need it any, anymore on this side I'm gonna check if I can remove something oh no I think they put epoxy in it so this is probably a newer version of the ones I had before the ones I had before were just uh, with silicone I cut the silicone and then I could take them out but now with uh, the resin hardened between these plates and the metal it will be quite uh, more difficult to get them out so this is how the this is how the battery pack looks like once it's out of the casing I must say it was a lot more work to open it it used to be something like this where you could see the, the cells now it's completely closed so you cannot see the cells anymore you can only see the separations where the cells um, are bonded to each other So these are still all the wires from the BMS So I'm just gonna cut them off This is a positive terminal Now the BMS wires So all the BMS wires are cut off so now we should be able to take these packs out of each other so I hope I will not short anything maybe it's better to start on the sides clean this up I'll do it like that yes
This pack is completely made in a different way than the packs from the um, Gazelle Energetics that I have already opened. I must say when it would be my bike I would be more happy with this version but today we're not here for the bikes we're here for recovery of the cells okay so probably this one Get complete bar out of it. So now they all come apart, as you can see. Okay, so I've got my four packs, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12, 24, 48, 50 cells in one pack. So um, as you can see it was not 100% uh, the solders, uh, the solder joints were not completely removed, so I'll go over um, with the Dremel. The Dremel tool will uh, grind it uh, even, so the, f the cells are good. I only damaged one cell because of the, um, the epoxy which has gone uh, to the cell, why, uh, so that's why it was also jammed. As you have uh, been able to see, this battery was really a nightmare to open up. It was apparently a newer generation of batteries, which uh, was actually the same in form, but the problem was that they uh, added the resin uh, to close everything up. So if you're the owner of the bike, you're really happy because you will not have any problems with moisture. But if you're like us and trying to salvage these uh, precious 18650 batteries, then uh, you're not a happy man. But nevertheless, I got them out. Um, I'm gonna start testing the cells and I hope to get around uh, capacity for each cell, cell around 19 to 2000 milliamp uh, hours. If you liked the video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel 
Uh, if you have some questions or if you have comments, also write them down below and I try to, uh, to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.